What's wrong with this auto turret? There's a lot that could be improved upon. For beginner design, it's not too bad, but we're gonna go over some ways that you can make this a whole lot better. So first off, let's go over everything that auto turrets can do because they can do a lot more than just hook up to a switch and fire. Also, if you're new, you always wanna have your auto turret hooked up to a switch because the only way you can actually change the gun in the turret is by turning it off with a switch. Otherwise, the only way to do it is gonna be manually disconnect the wire, which you really don't wanna do. So you can turn it off and change the gun. Nice little tip right there. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, you know that. But what you might not know is that you've also got stuff like this. You've got a no ammo slot, a low ammo slot, and a has target slot. So what this is, these can actually be used to make a base that is much more effective. So first off, the no ammo and the low ammo slots, those just signal when the auto turret has no or low ammo. So maybe you wanna make sure that this door right here doesn't open when the turret has no ammo because it's not gonna be able to shoot someone and then they can just go ahead and, well, destroy your turret, which is no fun. So now let's go over how we can make this door close when your turret runs out of ammo. You can use low ammo or no ammo. I prefer to use low ammo because let's face it, when you're at low ammo, you probably don't want your doors open because that last bit of ammo should be saved for in case someone decides to pay you a friendly or not so friendly visit and blow open your doors. So let's go ahead and set down a controller right here. So this is going to control this door and make it close when a signal comes here indicating that the turret has low ammo. Unfortunately, if you just hook it up like this, let's see what happens. Now let's turn this on. It's gonna indicate low ammo and the door opens. This is not really what we want. What we wanna do is the opposite of this. When there is low ammo, we want the door to close. So we need a little bit of circuitry to make our dreams a reality. So let's go ahead and put down a splitter and let's hook this split switch up to the splitter. This splitter is basically gonna deal with all of the door and auto turret technology, if you will. The reason I like to do this is just, it's easier for me to follow. There are more accurate designs or more efficient designs that you could use, but personally, I prefer something that's easy to work with rather than something, or easy to follow rather than something that's convoluted, hard, and usually works if you get what I'm saying. So now let's hook up this XOR switch. This is where all the magic happens. So the way an XOR switch works is when it gets input from only one of these inputs, it'll send power through. If it gets input from both or neither, it will not send any power through. So first off, let's go ahead and hook this up. So this is always gonna be giving it power, okay? If this is on, this is getting power. Now let's go ahead and hook this other power output up to our auto turret. So at this point, our auto turret should be on. We just have to give it a gun. So let's turn the auto turret off because you need to do that to give it a gun. And let's drop it in. So the auto turret has, gun, has a gun and it has ammo. So let's turn it on. Okay, now let's go ahead and play with this low ammo switch. So right now the low ammo signal should not be sending any power through. So let's hook this up. And you can see there is absolutely no power going through. Perfect. Now, let's hook up our door controller. So this is going to control this door and make it open if this turret has enough ammo. So now let's go ahead and pair it to the door. So remember to do this, you need to unlock your door and pair it to the door. But first we actually need to go ahead and give it power. Okay, it should be paired to the door now. So the way this is going to work now is whenever this switch is turned on, our turret comes on and the door opens so long as the turret has enough ammo. Let's go ahead and test this out. Turn it on and the door opens. The reason for this is because it's getting power from this splitter, which is always gonna be giving it power and it is not getting any power from this low ammo input. So let's go ahead and see what happens now if we pull ammo out of the turret. So let's take the ammo out, let's turn it on. It gets power from both of these and now the door does not open. And that's how you use a low ammo or no ammo signal to keep a door closed when your turret doesn't have any ammo. 
Also, while we're at it, a nice and easy way to reload guns. Watch this. A lot of people don't know this. So let's unload the ammo. We're gonna go ahead and drop our gun in. Boom. Turn the turret on. Turn the turret off. Guns reloaded. For guns that take a longer time to reload, this is a huge hack. If you're trying to defend a base, this will save you a lot of time. Now let's go over a few other things that you can do with your auto turret to make it just a little bit more awesome because while this is nice, I don't think this is that big of a hack. Now let's say instead you wanted to do something a little bit more interesting. You wanted a turret that would actually follow its target. So what you, what a lot of people don't know about turrets is even though it's pointed in this direction, it'll have coverage of that direction. Once it locks on to an enemy player, it will follow them wherever they go, which can be annoying because maybe they go behind a door like this and all of a sudden your turret doesn't have coverage. Or if your turret's on top of your base and you want it to be somewhat isolated so people can't snipe it, You've got walls or doors or something blocking people from shooting it, but that means that the second the people go around a corner, it loses its target. Well, there's a handy dandy solution towards that, and that is called the has target signal. So let's go ahead and try this out. So we're gonna pair it to a door. So what we've got here is we've got a door pair. We're gonna just pair it to this door. And now what's gonna happen is if this turret has a target right here, this door is gonna open giving players, giving the turret more coverage in case the person it's shooting at runs behind this door. So let's go ahead and test this. Let's take myself off the turret. So now this turret, when I turn it on, should attack me. Second it gets me, door opens. So one other thing that's worth noting is that with turrets, you can actually use fences to make it a little bit harder for someone with rockets to destroy your turrets but you've got to do it correctly because if you do it incorrectly, it's not going to do anything. So if you place your turret like this, right? Right up against this fence. Let's see what happens. That rocket hit did damage to the turret. Not good. Now let's go ahead and place this turret just a little bit back. So it's going to be sitting back here now. Now let's shoot the rocket at the fence and see how much damage it does to this lovely turret. Okay, that destroyed the foundation, that doesn't count. <laughs> Let, let's try this again. Not every experiment works the first time after all. So what you'll notice is that because we placed this turret just a little bit farther back, the fence takes most of the damage from the rocket and only a little bit of splash damage gets through to the turret. So when you're using fences for your turrets, make sure you place those turrets correctly. Otherwise, the fences aren't really going to do much against some attackers. Some it will, but if you place the fence correctly, it's going to work a lot better against a lot more attacks. If you want to learn more, if you want to hear more, make sure you comment down below and let me know. Also, hit the subscribe button because you'll see more videos like this. They're short, get you the information you need and then get you back into the game. Until next time, peace.